Hello and welcome back to the 2022 OTB Open presented by MVP Disc Sports. We are here in Stockton, California for nine more holes from the final round. You're with Big Sexy Commentary on Jomez Pro, Nate Sexton, and Jeremy Colling. And if the first front nine and all the, the first two rounds have anything have anything like what we're going to see in the back nine, this is going to be extremely exciting. I cannot wait to get into the action. Simon Lazat leading the way. Three strokes clear right now of Calvin Heimberg and a charging Aaron Gossage from the chase card. Also, Anthony Barella on the lead card right there within striking distance. Ricky Wysocki, injured or not, he is four strokes back. But Simon controls his destiny right now heading into the very challenging, incredible hole 10. Yeah, this is a tough one. You can bite off as much as you want on this right side. I heard tale of Ezra Aderhold landing on this grass right here today. I'm annoyed. All the way out there on the so end. I'm so annoyed by that. It is crazy. But we'll see how much these guys push it to the right. The safer shot is to the left, but the birdie play out to the right. See how far you can get up this fairway. That is right. Oh, Simon. Oh, that is low. He's got the speed. Yes. Oh, oh that's wow. in the end great. <laughs> in the end, it's, yeah, that T. Wow. Okay, that T pad there is about 560 from the T, and he landed just short of it. So I mean, I I think that was all of a 500 foot drive. Oh, this is way more than 500 feet right this here. This could be in danger of going. No, nope, never mind. I was gonna say out of bounds, long. Oh my god. Yeah, if it's a little bit right, it would have been very close. That's huge. Calvin going for the Heiser play. That's going to be in a tricky low ceiling over the water placement it's, for his second. It's kind of a conservative play by with his skill set, but like it's still way up there. I think Birdie's still very much an option from where he landed that. That's really far as well. Yeah, big turning shot, fading back left, all the way up the hill. And yeah, you can see Drew's disc right there in the bottom right of your screen as that was panning to the right. Uh -oh. Ooh, this is in danger. Yeah, I don't know. This has got to get lucky. To oh, stay. no yeah, way. That's out of here. Oh, okay. The rocks save it from getting lost, but still out of bounds. Anthony way right, able to play the Heiser shot in with a rock. And once again, he is right there straddled just outside the circle. He's found himself in that spot numerous times so far this round. Simon, beautiful. If Barella had hit his putts in the first nine, he would be leading this tournament right now. He needs to make these from here on out. Great shot from Drew. He'll have about 25 feet left. This is Calvin to save par. Just at that forehand, just came out a little early for him. Anthony Barella knocks one down and moves the four under. Important to do that right there with Simon very close to the basket for his birdie look. Wonderful putt for Drew. He's just got one par on the round. Wow. Three birdies and a bogey. That is a costly one for Calvin right now. Looking at 11, par three, 341 over the water. The OB line here is up out of the water at the top of the ridge here. And then you've got the wall, the OB line off that by about a meter as well. So pretty small landing area. If you do cross it, you do get to advance. So these guys, Got to make the mistake long if there's any mistake at all. And this is long. Yeah, it's going to need help from the wall. Yeah! It gets it. Oh. <laughs> it gets it. 
Very rarely do you see that right there, Simon. Fortunate break. Drew Heisering here. This needs legs. Oh, no, I don't think so. Out of bounds, and, and we'll with, have to see where that spot ends up. Where did he cross? It's hard to tell. Yeah, and it, that line is way closer to two meters from the water's edge than one meter. That is well off that line, so it's really hard if you're just barely crossing over the water to cross over and bounce. There was a spotter right there, though, so you got to mm -hmm. trust he had a pretty good look. Anthony is out of bounds near that wall. This looks pretty good. Calvin, does he do it again? Oh, wow. <laughs> Trying to repeat the fireworks of That's last right year's ace. Yeah, I don't really care what they say, honestly. I, th I just think that by just going so, uh, 30 feet across the thing, you think you crossed like up at the corner by the castle? Yeah, I didn't cross think... up there. I think I crossed over here. Yeah. Like the corner of the thing because it came across and then slid along the thing for like 25 feet and then went in. Yeah. I think I crossed the corner up there. I don't think there's a way for my disc to go into that thing without going above the line on the front side and go across the whole 25 feet of land. I don't think I crossed near the basket. I'm saying I... I had to have crossed there, or else well, my disc wouldn't have got to the line. Well, it's a group decision. I call him safe. Well, yeah. I mean, I'll give it to you up there. Okay. I, yeah, that means... Spotter's call, as always. Ah! Oh, boy. That's not what Anthony needed. But the spotter is just there for <laughs> reference. <laughs> Floaty putt Simon is deadly. What is this? Three for three from floaty Simon style. That's this is a new thing. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. He's playing cornhole. And in the end, it's all for naught. Drew will be taking the bogey. And this is Anthony for a double. Oh boy. And with that, there is a very Tough three-stroke swing for Anthony in the wrong direction. And Calvin, who just lost two strokes to the card, makes up two on Drew and three on Anthony just like that. Hole 12, par three, 445 feet. These guys are all going to take the right side gap early off the tee and look to play the skipping shot past this big oak to the basket. Mm, I don't think tight. this has the left energy after that little kiss. It has some though. Wow, yeah, it's working its way up there, but yeah, that's just, it's fortunate that it didn't hit more branch, honestly, and drop straight down. This is what you're looking for. Just get the good ground play. Oh, yeah, and pretty nice. Good first skip, not the greatest second and third. But, yeah. But still really good shot. Yeah, after that first skip, I was thinking park job. Right. But it did put the brakes on. Oh, Drew, that. A lot higher. I, I dare say misrelease. I don't know if he's trying to play for that much hype, but regardless if he was or not, he is in the circle or near at the circle's edge. Yeah. Low ceiling putt. Very rarely get to say that about Drew. His backhand is just so crisp. It's just a matter of whether or not those putts are going in. And look at that skip for Anthony. All sorts of interesting ground action going on up there. That lead is quite cushy right now for Simon, but the other three guys, an opportunity to get one closer. Drew will start. Drew has hit a lot of those today. One par still. 
Wow. <laughs> That's got to be his, at least his third. Oh, that Maybe was so cool. Maybe fourth jumper. Yeah. Yeah. And he, like, that was one of his longer ones he's made. A lot of them have been right there on the edge of the circle. Calvin gets one stroke closer now. Finally able to find a chink in the armor for Simon, who's just been on a roll since the bogey five holes ago. Calvin's playing well, but it is tough to make up ground on Simon the way he's playing right now. He has been so consistent and keeps making these floaty putts. Where is this coming from? <laughs> Love it. Hole 13, par 3, 4, 22. Nice golf hole here. A little bit of a tunnel shot that gets a little narrower towards the end and then breaks right. These last couple trees can pose a problem, even for really good shots. can end up outside the circle if you don't find your way through that last little bit. This is pretty good if you like dead straight 422 feet. Well, actually 440, going long. Uh, this is, what are we on, repeat? I think it might be stuck on repeat. I keep telling Jomas, turn the repeat button off. Now, great shot there from Drew. Opportunity to keep that nearly parlous round continuing on 13 and simon stuck on yeah repeat, unfortunately <laughs> it's just come on guys i think all of them hit that little gap right yeah so far those are beautiful catch cam action from our filmers and finally something a little different oh yeah oh wow what a shot that was great i thought it was too high but it finds a way through. Daggers, big putt. Daggers. So important, when you putt first, you're the leader, you're the farthest away. And this is just a statement. You make a putt like this and the pressure just instantly flips on the guys that are trying to chase you down. They're kind of thinking, maybe I have opportunity here. Now it feels like the only opportunity you have is to make a mistake and lose ground. Drew does not make that mistake. He hits another What's jump putt. Four or five now, it's six so far. Six outside the circle. Well, geez Louise, repeat guys, Take turn the repeat button off. This is what we want to see from our league group. Short putt away from another star frame. Wow. Five, we expected it. Nine, did not expect nine. Did not expect 13. No, that's a, that probably is the only star frame. Oh, that my hole. I mean, goodness, that's a yes. very difficult hole. Oh, my goodness. It has to be. 14 is a par three at 351 feet with a ton of OB. Left side rough is all out of bounds. Golf green on the right and short is all out of bounds and the basket is just perched right here on top. So if you're a little short, you're OB. If you're a little aggressive left, you're OB. And if you go long, you just have a scary putt coming back. Calvin's going for this backhand tight gap off the tee, but if you can hit your height, it slides right across that green and the hill can catch you. This is moving pretty quick. Yeah, pretty decent. That's going to be 45. Would have liked to see that fade just a little bit more back to the left. That is might that not have hurt. Yeah, that good. might not have hurt it. <laughs> yeah, I was worried it was going to really hurt it. If, what if you a, hit that and it slows you down, it could find the center of that golf green. What a crazy round Drew's putting together. Yeah. Is this going to fade? It is. 
little bit, a lot of it. Okay, good for Simon. That's going to put in right outside the bullseye. And you're talking about going first. Calvin goes first, throws a pretty decent shot. There's a little bit of room for improvement. Then Drew parks it. Drew's seven back, surprisingly. So he's not really a threat for Simon right now, but for Simon to step up and then put that outside the bullseye, again, statement made. This is gonna ride yeah. that golf green. Can it get out? No. Barely missed. So Calvin's putt from that range is so good. It's a surprise when he misses them. Yeah, that really is. Oh, no. And that might have rolled. Yeah, it, it did a did. bit, yeah. It's now for bogey for Anthony, who connects. Just not quite the same fireworks from round two. Still under par, but not not what he needed today. Drew, however, with that putt, he goes to five under with, I believe, four bogeys or something like that. Wow. Yeah, or maybe, yeah, either way. All over the place with birdies, bogeys. Simon all the way to 21 under. And we were talking about this on the front nine going into this last four-hole stretch, 15, 16, 17, 18. You want to... Four stroke lead. Obviously, you don't always want a four stroke lead, but going into these very scary finishing holes, that is a very good thing to have because anything can happen here. And if you can play for par, like we were talking about, yeah, what a huge benefit that is. I don't want to ignore the fact that Simon is now nine under for the day, the course record 10 under set by Anthony Barella just yesterday. So, putting together another very special Unreal. round. Wow, 15 is a tough get, but. You know Simon has plans for it, so if he can get off this tee cleanly and set up a line, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him take that high hyzer and get a birdie look. Whoa. That's OB? Or? Yeah, that's a shank. He missed his gap by a lot there. So let's see if he moves up to the drop zone that we saw Cody Kirkland put under the I mean, in the bullseye from 491 yesterday from that drop zone and save his par. Simon out to the left. He's just in a groove, in an absolute groove. Love to see any player find that and just harness it and playing some incredible disc golf right now, Nate. His forehand is yeah. out of this world. This is big. Nice shot. That sets up a really nice straight line over the water. And Simon's pointing forward, showing him that the drop zone exists if he right, chooses. So, uh, hole 15, op optional drop zone. Provide for any T shot that comes to rest OB. Male pro open drop zone is a female pro open T. There's Jeff Duquois, the TD of, or the former TD of the Las Vegas Challenge, helping out the PDGA this year. Mm. Oh, and a little that wind drop was, I, I feel like that was just a few inches higher from being uh, Drew's second par, but looks like he's going to go back to the bogey ways. Yeah. Good ground play for Calvin. That'll set up a birdie putt from the edge of the circle, maybe a step or two inside. Simon looking to go up and over everything. And this is in danger of going out of bounds left. It sure it is. It is gonna find its way down the hill. And you know, 
in that position where he's at, there's really like you only have aggressive lines. Like, well, look at what, what you have to clear here. There's not like a way that you can really play it that much safer than what he was trying to go for. Wow. Really nice play for Anthony. Oh, that could run. Barely hangs on. Simon for par. Wow. Great save. Really. 30 foot uphill putt. Gut check. Man. Just not a good day on the green for Anthony. You know, and who knows? A few of those early ones go in, confidence gets up. This this tournament could, could be, be completely different right now. Birdie on hole 11 instead of the five, and it's just so, so quick how the fates can change. But with Simon making that par putt, Calvin only able to gr gain one stroke. But a fantastic birdie for Calvin. He's putting together a really solid round. That was the hardest hole on the course. Hole 16, par three, 399 to the elevated basket. We've seen players go high backhand low backhand and also forehand down out over the out of bounds on the left side there's kind of your three options the yellow lines denoting when the disc path would be underneath those trees not just random with the colors calvin does elect to go with that high line did you notice that Joe that we changed the graphics? Yeah. On the ideal flight lines. I, yeah. I I appreciate that. Day one, that line was out over the out of bounds area in the left, which is just that route hasn't been taken by the most ambitious left handed player in the world. Oh yeah. I mean all of our editors, camera crew, they don't make a lot of mistakes. No. When they do make mistakes, I like to make fun of them. And they don't like it. So then they change it. <laughs> then they get better. Heiser well, play is very, very popular these days. As Gannon Burr taught me in the practice round, it is not sus to go Heiser. And I'm so sorry I said that. Very well executed low line for Drew. You could say that's how he drew it up. When it, when you're on fire, you're on fire. <laughs> Simon barely misses that. That qualifies as barely misses as well. I'd say that's the ninth barely missed putt. Yeah, it's just so close. And they're getting lower, folks. The misses are getting worse. Hopefully Drew can turn that around here. Outside the circle again. Oh, no! He's had so many short jumpers, like under 35. It, it, those feel like way easier than a 25-footer for Drew. I f it just seems like he just gets a little bit more pop into yeah. it. It feels weird to see him miss it, honestly. It does. And he's going to drop in his second par of the round, and we are through 16 holes. That's crazy. It really is. That's the future of disc golf right there. I mean, that kid is going to be a uh, force to reckon with now next year and 10 years. Just look forward to many more battles with him. To win this event is a great stepping stone in my career, and hopefully I can win a couple more soon. Oh, 
We've just got two holes left, but they're both very treacherous and difficult. 17 starting us off, par four, 737 feet with the Peninsula Green. This is a great drive where the drone is now. Then you've got to decide how you're going to attack. You'd like to miss a little bit on the long side. There's a little bit more room back there, but it's a small green and it's a green that's exposed to the wind. This is a great shot. Yeah, it is. Way out there. Should set up a wide open approach. Wind picking up a little bit. And not the worst kick really back into a pretty decent position. Doesn't really need to go for the aggressive play for the green. This is so far. Oh man, how close can he get oh it to the water? Gosh, that is so far. Wow, that almost is... to the water. Just supercilious. I think that's probably the wrong use of that word, but I don't even care that so far. This is overturned, but that's not... Yeah, there's stuff over there, right? Too bad, yeah, I, I like it over there. Simon's driving this week is unheard of, unreal good. We're talking a stat that I have never seen so outstanding in all the stats we've seen. Strokes gained from T, 20.75 on the field. The guy's putting the disc where he wants off the T and making it's making everything so easy. Yeah. It's just incredible. That's a nice couple of handfuls of strokes gained. Yeah, that's all your hands, all your fingers, and then your toes, and then 0.75 more. Like, maybe you can count your nose as 0.75 flanges. <laughs> Look at Whoa, this. what is this? Sit down. What a shot. What a weird that reaction. That was really weird. There has to be wind. And that's sort of that was the that is pro backspin at its finest. Anthony trying to get a little bit of that ground play action, and his goes the opposite direction, strangely enough. Just exactly what Simon needed, an easy layup for the par. Drew trying to stay aggressive, doesn't connect, but doesn't pay any price. Anthony, that's what he needed today. He needed it early. Okay, so Nate just pulled something up, very interesting to me. Anthony Barella strokes gain from T, 20.39. So it isn't that outstanding, I suppose. But but there's a very clear top three. Simon Lazat, Anthony Barella, and Aaron Gossage, 20, 20, and 19. And then it drops all the way down to 15 for the rest of the, the for the fourth place player in the field. Yeah, that is, that is just making life easy off the tee. And man, on a course like this, this distance, Easy pars and birdie opportunities, just they don't come easy unless you're those three guys. And we're down to the end, Nate. Final hole, Simon Lazat, healthy lead, a new father. There's just something special about becoming a father and putting things in perspective and playing good disc golf. And Simon's doing it right now. This is pretty cool. Yeah, he's in a great position here. He does not need to press for birdie. This is a tight gap, obviously. There's a ton of out of bounds. It's not an easy hole to birdie. So Simon 
able to hopefully lay back a little bit here. Calvin, his closest competitor, three shots to play with. And, and Calvin is hunting birdies, oh. but that is a really important kick. That probably takes birdie totally off the table. Anthony, that needs to get around, and oh boy, that is in a very tough position for Anthony. They're clapping, but I think Anthony knows that he is not around the corner completely. This drive is so important for Simon right now. I mean, and, and when you're just throwing the disc the way you want to. That's all he needs. Just get up there. He just needed to avoid kicking hard right or going OB left, anything early. And he is navigated over 300 feet off the tee. Job done. Wouldn't you agree Calvin has nothing from where he kicked you? Yeah, th this, is a situ this is like a world's thing. And, but, you know, where he can only lay up. Yeah. And then try to throw one in. But even if he did, it's not enough. Yeah, you're right. Drew OB off the tee. And Calvin with a putter in hand. Yeah, and he just there's nothing you can do. There's, the ceiling's too low. There's no over-the-top route. The corner is the, the best bet he has, and Calvin needs to secure the par at this moment just to take a solo second. What a shot. And Drew Gibson, after going out of bounds, parks his Halo Destroyer That was approach. from way back. And that, this is what I'm talking about. Drew's got a great forehand, yeah. a lot of power when he trusts it. He can do some good things with it. And this is a fast green and a scary green. Like that's a really impressive shot to stick it that close. It's a little bit blind as far as like seeing the ground. Really impressive. So Simon's going to... Oh, this is turned over a bit. Could get a little bit of love off the fence, but does not. Yeah. But it's not the worst out of bounds. No. He's going to get to move way up. Should have easy bogey. See what Anthony, he's got a little tiny window, but he's going down to the knee. This is, is he making a play for the green? Wow. Whoa, a perfect what? reaction off the tree. That was going out of bounds for sure. The tree saves him, keeps him in circle one, birdie chance. The, you, come on. <laughs> People do not birdie from those trees. That's, in, that's incredible stuff for Anthony. Calvin going Toro, and just yeah. rolls back in. So he's got about 24 feet left. Elevated basket. For a solo second place finish with Aaron Gossage in the clubhouse right now at 17 under. And Simon with that layup will finish at 20 under. He is going to be your OTB Open champion. What an emotional roller coaster this has been for him. Just what what a birdie! Yeah, I'll say <laughs> it's incredible. Anthony Brell, what a performance once again here at the OTB Open. Look at this breeze picking up. Not the best time for that for Calvin. That's a great putt. Great tournament from Calvin, second place. I think what a treat for the fans. Simon, he, the fan favorite of all easily, fan favorites. And, easily. And it's not hard to know why. I mean, he's such an engaging personality, such a talented player, kind of that happy-go-lucky style on the course. Look at that, champion. Crazy. I've heard so many times that, I mean, golf is a mental game, of course, and my my decisions on the course weren't always the best because I was like the show-off kid, and I kind of still am and still want to be, but uh, my body says no, so got to tune it down a bit, 80% effort on all the throws. So much has changed, of course. I'm turning 30 this year, so I'm one of the old guys now. I was so happy with my drives today. It was, I don't know, it just felt like easy. And the things were working out and the other guys were making mistakes when I wasn't. And man, 
That was a drop well done, finally. Job well done is right. Just sure is. 20 under on this course. That is pretty special. We were we were saying 22 would be best, but that uh, 20 under is, is really good in the end. It was a little windier than maybe we expected uh, as I well. Agree. So I think that plays our factor. I got a shout out. One Chandler Fry tied in fifth place and the only man in the field to avoid out of bounds for the entire tournament. What? Incredible precision Chandler and control. So good. Zero OBs and a top five finish and qualified for the USDGC. Congratulations to him, but mainly it's congratulations to Simon. Congratulations to our Founders Club for making a good financial decision and keeping their hobby, yeah. their, their, their channel. They love to watch a live out here. Absolutely. Gotta always thank you guys. I, I loved it. This was a great course, a really well-run event. I love seeing Simon win. I'm a Simon fan too. Uh, this was a fun one. Question. Which kind of bear is best? It's a ridiculous question. False. Black bear. Bears eat beets. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. It was... I was going to say it was great working with you again, but... Uh, That's yeah, for I, the, you know, I still will. It was on. great working with you again. See, Big, Portland sexy, Open. Big, sexy, baby. We're out. We're out. Sorry. <laughs>